Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We've got big news. Uh, there's a new PC Building Simulator update. Amazingly, I can't believe it came this fast. I mean, they just gave us the new Overclockers UK Workshop with, with version 1.7.5, but today they have introduced version 1.8 of PC Building Simulator and it introduces a bunch of new parts, some of which I've got laid out in front of us here and we'll go through pretty quick here. Uh, there's lots of stuff, all sorts of stuff. We got cases, CPUs, CPU coolers. We got one 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 thing of RAM. We've got some storage. We've got motherboards. We've got uh, headsets, keyboards. We've got monitors. It, there's lots of stuff. It's really good. So uh, I'll, of course, as always, link the changelog in the description down below so you can check out the, uh, the full build log, but we're gonna go through all of it. We're gonna talk through all of the changes in PC Building Simulator version 1.8 on PC. This is only on PC. It is not on console. I am sorry. It will probably come to console eventually. And like eventually, which probably like much later in the year, most likely. Sorry, it stinks. Hopefully they'll bring workshops too, right? Okay, let's get into it. Version 1.8, cases. We'll start with cases. Here's one of the new cases. I actually did a build in it really quick just to see how it would work. Uh, the Ragin Tech NYX Pro. It is completely nuts. You can see the motherboard mounts upside down. The graphics cards mount are on the back. We will do a dedicated build in this later, so I don't want to spoil too much. But that is one of the crazy cases they introduced in the version 1.8. They also added this new case from Fractal Design, the Vector RS. And this is the, oh, the, the I guess, the RSTG tempered glass. And then this is the glass lid version. There's also a non glass lid version. Um, the other PC I've got set out is not a new case. That is the N60 S340. So we won't look at that. Uh, but if we look at the Fractal, there are so many Fractal cases now. The Vector RS, so you've got the tempered glass, and then I just showed you the glass lid version. It's just got a glass lid on the top, so pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of new cases. So uh, we've also got cases from, we've got one case from Inwin that is pretty cool. Uh, the Inwin 309, which I actually really am ex I'm super excited to build in it. So I've seen the 309. It has this weird, is it not going to show me? I feel like the searching is, is it okay? Oh, there it is. There it is. The Inwin 309. So the front of this has this RGB front. And in real life, like people light up each of those squares differently to like paint pictures. Like they'll put Super Mario on the front and all sorts of stuff. So I'm curious to see how the lighting works out on that case. Uh, that'll be fun. So the Inwin 309 is new. Uh, we've got, like I said, the Ragin Tech case, the Fractal case. We've got a new case from Silverstone. There's five new cases total. So, uh, Silverstone's Farah B1. So there you go. It's a pretty basic mid tower. Doesn't look too crazy. And then the XPG Battle Cruiser. Uh, yeah, in black and white. So that's interesting. A data has a case now. We did not have any A data cases. I didn't even know A data made cases. So those are in the game now. So those are our cases. We got five new cases: Fractal, Inwin, Ragin Tech, Silverstone, and XPG. Each of those gets one new case. So those are pretty cool. We've got a few new CPU coolers. Uh, we've got a few from Be Quiet. The Be Quiet Pure Rock 2. Their Shadow Rock 3. So Pure Rock 2 here in black. So the actual fins of the heatsinker in black. That's cool. And the bracket. Also in silver. So Pure Rock 2. And then the Shadow Rock 3. Shadow Rock 2? No, not that. Shadow Rock 3. Shadow Rock 3. Where are you? Okay, really? Shadow Rock. I don't know how they organize these things anymore. Shadow Rock 3, right there. Okay, cool. That's okay. So, I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's a CPU fan, you know. Um, and then the Dark Rock Slim. Dark Rock Slim? Dark Rock Slim. Dark Rock Slim. It's in here. It's in here. Really? Pure Rock Slim? No? It. You know, Dark Rock Slim. It's in there. Also, they added Corsair's air cooler, which they just came out with maybe late last year, early this year. The A500 dual fan. So that's like a tower style air cooler. But Corsair hasn't made an air cooler in forever. So this is like, that's kind of cool. So that's fun. Um, let's see, what other what other air coolers did we get? Uh, just one more from Arctic. And this will clue you off to what else they might have added in the game. So the Arctic Freezer 50 TR. And if you look closely, Ryzen Threadripper, because we're gonna go right into CPUs because they have added, they've made some big additions as far as CSU, CPUs in the 1.8 update. Namely, 
uh, Ryzen 3rd Gen. So we have now got the Ryzen Threader for 3960X, 24 core, 3970X, 32 core, and 3990X, 64 cores. The 3990X, by the way, is nearly a $4,000 CPU. I have it in this computer over here. $3,990. So yeah, it's a lot of money. Uh, it's pretty expensive. They've also added some other CPUs from Team Blue. Uh, actually, first we'll look at the 99KS. So it's like a higher power binned 9900K. Uh, that's cool. And then the obviously the big addition with Intel is going to be the 10th gen series of CPUs. Now they haven't added too many. But uh, we do have the 10900X, the 10920X, and the 10940X. So we don't have the 10900K, we don't have um, you know, the i5, we don't have those, but we do have their super high-end X series. So the 10 core, the 12 core, the 14 core. So that's cool, that's fun. I haven't seen any additions from Intel in the PC building simulator in a while, or you know, kind of in real life Intel. Um, so hey, we've got them now. So that's CPUs. We've also got, I guess I'll just knock out case fans really quick. We've got just one edition on case fan. It's from Inwin, the Ego AE120 RGB case fan. It's got a very interesting frame. I've actually got it in this case as well, just to, I just wanted to see how it looked. That's what it looks like. You can't see it very well. It's in the front. Yeah, it looks like ice cubes with the fan in it. Not really, but uh, so that's that. Graphics cards. We've actually got a lot of new graphics cards from Asus ROG, which I thought we should be in the ROG workshop for this video, right? So that's why we're here. Uh, we've got a bunch of graphics cards from Asus ROG. So we've got their 5600 XT. We've got, we've actually got even duplicates of something, well not really duplicates, but like the overclock versions and the stock versions. So we've got um, I guess I won't find them all because they, they, they look very similar as you can tell, but we've got their 5600 XT OC edition. We've got the RX 570 8 gig. We've got an RX 570 overclock 8 gig. So I didn't know they're actually still adding 570s, which is interesting. So there's the regular and then there's the overclock. Um, and then they've also got their 5700 overclock. We've got their 5700 XT overclock and we've got their 5500 XT. I'm trying to think, is that our first 5500 XT? Is that the first time 5500 XT has been in the game? Okay, no, because Gigabyte has one. Oh no, they just added this. So yeah, this is also the introduction of 5500 XT. So we've got Asus's, I've actually never seen that shroud design from that, that's interesting. And then Gigabyte, so those are both new cards in the 1.8 update. Um, and then also from, also from Asus ROG, we finally got their 2080 Ti. So we had a bunch of these, we had 2060, 2070, 2080, super. And now we've got the 2080 Ti right here. So it looks the same as all the other ones, but it's 2080 Ti. Um, and then, in, so in addition to that one gigabyte card, all those ASUS cards, we have two new cards from MSI. We have their 5700 XT Gaming X here, eight gig, so that's fun. And then we've got the 5700 XT Mech OC, also an eight gig card, uh, as any 5700 XT would be. Here's what, nope, that's not it. Here's what the, uh, which one is this? This is the, yeah, Gaming X. It's a thick boy. It's a real chunky thick boy right there. But yeah, they added that. So that's all the graphics cards they added. We've also got new storage from Team Group. We'll scroll to the bottom because that's where a bunch of it's at. It's crazy. It's this light up RGB two and a half inch SSDs. We've also got these Team Group uh, Delta RGB SSDs as well. We've got these ones and this one, and we've got Kingston in the game now. So that's a new vendor. We've got Kingston. We've got their two and a half inches SSDs, and then we've got some of their uh, M.2 and M.2 NVMe drives as well, I believe. Yeah, so we've got their M.2 NVMe drives here, the KC2000s, and then we've also got this A2000. So, I guess they're all NVMe. So, um, yeah, that's all the storage. We've got a bunch of peripheral stuff we can look at. I just want to see, is there, oh yeah, let's look at motherboards, because motherboards have some great additions, uh, of course, because we added the new Threadripper processor. So there's lots of new fun fun stuff. TRX4, is that right? Yes, okay, TRX4 is a socket. 
So we've got Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha, which is actually what I have over in that Raging Tech PC. Asus ROG Strix TRX 40 E Gaming, Gigabyte TRX 40 Design Air. Uh, this is probably the nicest board is the Zenith Extreme. I'm trying to think how much it is, I'll, I'll go look. Uh, Gigabytes TRX 40 AORS Pro Wi-Fi, Gigabytes TRX AORS Master, and then the AORS Extreme. So six new motherboards to support our new uh, Threadripper chipset, or socket, really. Um, and we've also got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, we've got six of those, yeah. Is that right, six? The change log shows seven. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, no, it, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, we've also got an X570 board from Asus, which is exciting because they didn't have anything in the game before. There it is. Uh, Asus, yes, X570i Gaming. So a mini ITX X570 offering. Also, our first mini ITX, nope. I lied. Don't listen to me. Our second. I forgot we had this one. I just built this one. I should know better. But yeah, Asus has now got a X570 board. Only a mini ITX, but they don't have a standard size board though yet, which is which is too bad. Um, we do have some other really awesome X570 boards you might have just seen from MSI. We've got the MSI Meg X570 Godlike, and I've already got it in a build, and it is $700, just so you know. Uh, the X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi up here and then the gaming edge Wi-Fi. So that's awesome too. The Meg Godlike is a pretty crazy board and uh, it's very expensive. So, and then we just have one last board, a B450M from MSI. That is their Mortar Max <laughs> right here. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much, but there it is. That's it. So that's all the motherboards. Um, okay, we'll just show the power supplies that they added and the one stick, uh, one kit of RAM, then we'll go to peripherals, and then we've pretty much seen it all. So, as far as power supplies, we've got new ones from A-Data, the XPG Core Reactor, so that's their first power supply in the game. So, we've got those. Um, we've got some new ones from Antec, which look very interesting. Oh, yep, here we are. The High Current Gamer, so 850 and 1000 watts, that's pretty high wattage there um, and the very interesting like bronze coloring and then we've got some from Silverstone the ET 700 MG so a 700 watt power supply from Silverstone so that's all the power supplies we've just got one kit of memory to show and that is the uh, extreme ARGB DDR4 from T-Force and I've actually got it in um, no, nope. I couldn't remember which computer. It's in this one. So, it's in this one. And, uh, yeah, you can see the motherboard. How much was the motherboard? Oh my gosh, is the motherboard at the top and I'm really that dumb? Yes, $850, wow, okay. So yeah, there. that's actually like pretty crazy looking RAM. I think that that's just the color. I don't know, maybe it said it pink. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So, okay, that's all the parts. We can just look at some monitors. Monitors are exciting because we've got a new vendor. We've got BenQ. So we've got BenQ's GL2780 and their EX2780Q. So, I mean, it's it's got HDRI, apparently. And this one looks, yeah, pretty, yeah, it looks like a monitor, I don't know. Uh, so those are our two monitors from BenQ. That's the only new monitors we've got in the game. We've got new uh, mouse mats. And that's the first one, thing you wanted to see was the, the mouse pads. So mouse pads come from Asus. The Sheath PNK LTD. Somewhere. Oh my gosh. Did I scroll past? Did I scroll past it? Uh, we had all these. Oh, the MSI ones are new. So the Agility GD30, GD60, and GD70. Where's the GD70? They're supposed to be a GD70. And then this T-Force one is new. What the heck? The change log says that there's another one. It also says that we're supposed to have one from Asus called the Sheath PNK LTD. But I don't see it. I do not see it. You're a liar. This change log is a lie. And we've got new mice. Uh, let's see. Mice. The Strix Impact 2 from Asus. Right there. The ROG Chakram. 
and I love the smooth point. It's so cute. And then we've also got the Pugio 2 right here. Oh, that's fun. Little wireless dongle. Okay. And then uh, three from MSI, which MSI didn't have any mice in the game before, I don't think. So the Clutch GM11, GM30, and the GM50. So that's all the mice they've added. And then we've also got some headsets and keyboards. I guess we'll check out keyboards first. Uh, keyboards are... The way they, the way they ordered this change log, I tell you. Okay, they're all from MSI. So we've got four keyboards from MSI. The Vigor GK30, Vigor, Vigor GK50 Low Profile, the GK60, and the GK60 Red. GK80 Red. Okay. Because these are the same. Okay, just different key colors. Got it. Cool. And I guess... Oh, and I guess the one with the wrist rest. So all of these are new. They're just diff slightly different variants. Interesting to see some with wrist rest without silver WASD, black WASD. That's more variation than we've ever seen in the game before. So um, that's fun. All right, and then headsets. I can never remember how to actually get the headsets to come out. So, oh boy. It's like once they're on the table, I know how to swap them, but I don't know how to like put them down. Uh, so headsets, wait, what? Oh, because I'm still on MSI filter. Weird, I was not expecting that. Uh, a, yeah, so we've got Asus ROG Theta Electret. Theta Electret. Where are you, Theta Electret? There. Wow, those are chunky. Dang, those are some big boys. Those are huge. Dang, that's like sticking a waffle iron in here. Those are massive. Oh, wow. And then we've got uh, three from MSI. The D502 Gaming. Here. D502 Gaming, the Immerse GH30, and the Immerse GH50. So that should be everything they added in the 1.8 update to PC Building Simulator. So big highlights are third gen Threadripper. We've got a few of Intel's 10th gen CPUs, their X series. Uh, we've got a bunch of new TRX4 motherboards to support the third gen Threadripper. We've got a few new uh, interesting offerings of X570 boards, like this one over here, the X570 Godlike. Oh, I forgot, we also have two new AIOs from Rasion Tech. I must have missed that. They are not under CPU cooler. Oh yeah, liquid coolers. So this is the Rasion Tech AOS 360, and there's also a 240 variant. So pretty fun. It's kind of, you know, it's cool. And then you got that Godlike in there, $700. Just bonkers. So yeah, lots of good stuff they've added. We got some new storage options. Uh, one new SKU for RAM, and a bunch of graphics cards. Asus ROG finally caught up, and we've got a bunch of their stuff in here. So that is a quick rundown of the 1.8 update, so be on the lookout for new builds using some of the new components in the 1.8 update coming up soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did and you want to see more, and you want to see some of those builds coming up, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.